Well, hello everyone. How are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 17 public beta 1. Finally, iOS 17 public beta is here and in this video, we are going to talk about how to install this version, how is the iOS 17 public beta 1 and is it worth installing this update or not. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. Let's dive right into this video and talk about the iOS 17 public beta 1. We have been waiting for ios 17 public beta since the 5th of june yes it's been over a month and i am really excited to talk about it it's been more than a month that apple announced the beta 1 of ios 17 and here we are the public betas are rolling out today in order to install this update i will talk about the procedure further in this video but before talking about that please hit that subscribe button and turn on notification it would mean a lot to me i do make a lot of these videos and you guys seem to love these so it would be amazing if you guys can hit that subscribe button it barely takes two seconds and i am one of the first person to talk about ios and apple related content so it would be amazing if you guys can hit that subscribe button and help me reach 10k which is my goal before my birthday which is on 31st july so let's get to 10k before my birthday let's get to 10k before 31st of july anyways thank you so much for listening now back to the video you can now download these betas for free and uh, public betas has always been free by the way but now you can simply install it it is integrated in your apple id what you have to do is first of all go to betas.apple.com then sign in there that is it restart your iphone go to your software updates and that is it you will see the profile down below the automatic update section if you still don't see it sign in make sure that you are already signed in and the automatic updates are off turn it off and then you will be sure that you have installed it and you will see it for sure the ios 17 public beta i have installed it on my device and here are my first impressions the first impressions are it seems to be pretty stable already right off the bat it feels more smoother than the beta 3 of ios 17 that i was running it is really really stable and it came at around 1.15 gb for me it will be for sure bigger for you because i am coming from the beta 1 of ios 17 yes if you are anything below the beta 3 you can switch from developer beta to public beta this is a bit weird and this is the first time i noticed it I am able to download the public beta when I am on the beta 2 of iOS 17. And yes, I'm sorry, I know I said beta 1. I am on the beta 2 of iOS 17 on this device and I am able to see the public beta of iOS 17. This may be a bug, it may be not a bug, but iOS 17 beta 3 devices are not showing the public beta. But things like devices below the beta 3 the beta 1 and beta 2 as far as i've talked to my subscribers and i have seen it myself this may be a bug but you are able to download and switch to public betas if you are below the latest beta the first impression seems pretty good and there are very promising performance and bug fixes here because i have yet to get any bug crashes or even the most surprising thing is Every time when I update it to iOS 17 and for, for a fact, I have downgraded to iOS 16, updated to iOS 16 and then downgraded to iOS 16 on this particular device more than four times now. So this device has been really, really frustrated from me. But the thing is, every time going to iOS 17, I noticed a major heat on my device whereas going from the beta 2, to the public beta i did not see the heating that much it did got heat up but very minimal that was pretty excusable but when i updated to ios 17 betas the developer betas it was getting really really toasted talking about new features and changes there are no new features or changes that i have seen now but 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 by any chance if this is the first video of ios 17 that you are watching then let me refresh you a little bit the ios 17 packs in some crazy and good updates some quality of life improvement updates what i'm talking 
talking about is standby feature standby feature is a really dope feature you can connect your iphone to the charging or magsafe and it will be acting as your site lock this is available for all devices from the 10r 10s to the 14 pro max and there are many more features some exciting features being facetime reactions you can make reactions you can make a heart in facetime and it will show hearts around you and there are many more actions you can use those and make cool animations using your hands on facetime facetime is much better on the ios 17 the keyboard autocorrect and keyboard in general is also much better on the ios 17 public beta one now talking about the big thing which is battery life how is the battery life of ios 17 public beta one is it any better than the developer beta or is it worse or is it better than the previous betas which we have seen of ios 16 because public betas the latest ios 16.6 public beta 4 was out before this so this is new to public beta testers if you are a public beta tester this is a new thing but before this you must be using ios 16.6 public beta so is it better than ios 16.6 public beta the answer is, I don't know by now. I mean, you know, I am one of the first person to talk about all these. And in fact, it takes at minimum three days to test a software and report to you guys. I will use my device and in the long term, after three days or four days, I will make a follow up video. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification. I will let you guys know how is the battery life the ios 17 public beta one the update was really really huge for most of the people i mean it is huge for 99 percent of the people but if you happen to be on ios 17 beta 2 or beta 1 you will be able to get this update at a much lower size so before installing this update make sure to free up a lot of storage because it's gonna be more than five gigabytes on your device for sure it's gonna be a big update it packs in pretty good like, quality of of life improvements and some small but nifty features which will be useful in your day-to-day -day life that is really good and apple is focusing on reliability this year so i am looking forward to this update a lot because it does pack some cool and neat little feature and along with that apple is also focusing on reliability of ios instead of just throwing a lot of new features but focusing on reliability let's hope for the best and let's hope that ios 17 public beta is gonna be stable and really really good i will let you guys know in the future on my follow-up so if you still want to be safe make sure to wait for my follow-up and then install this version on your device but still it is recommended to most of you guys because it's gonna be stable and it does already feel pretty stable but 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 that doesn't mean you should not take a backup at the end of the day it is a beta and betas are really notorious to have a lot of issues so make sure to take a backup of your device just just in case something goes wrong make sure to take your backup on icloud and on your laptop well that's pretty much it for today's quick little episode thank you so much for watching this video till the end this is me jay aka tech hyped signing off please help me reach 10k before my birthday which is 31st of july i already told you so please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and help me reach my goal which is 10k peace out and have a great day everyone